All right, really great, super traditional recipe for wild greens from southern Italy today. This is fave e chicoria, fava bean puree with wild chicory. I'm using some wild greens. Great place to use bitter greens. And you're going to start by cooking some dried fava beans in water. I add a little bay leaf or half an onion if I have them. You can just use water. And you're going to cook those until they're soft, about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, they cook much faster than regular beans. You don't need to soak them. Make sure to get peeled fava beans, peeled dried fava beans, not fava beans with a shell on because that is a whole different thing and it's a real pain to take them out. When you're pureeing the cooked beans in the food processor, you can see I added some oil there. That helps you get that silky smooth puree. Uh, good little chef trick there. Then the next thing we're going to do is cook a bunch of bitter greens. You want bitter, bitter greens here. they got to be bitter. Wild chicory is the most traditional. Obviously, you can use dandelions. So those are closely related. This is a cousin that I'm using today. It's called Lactuca biennis, or uh, tall blue lettuce. Canada lettuce is also an excellent, excellent wild plant. And these are nice and bitter. These are the top uh, young growth from the top of the plant in the summer. Uh, you can also use the young plants in the spring. And you're going to cook these. You're going to overcook them. You should be able to cut the greens like with a fork basically when you take them out of the water that's going to help them help calm their taste uh, but it also they should be overcooked for this uh, this is not a place to use like tender crisp greens they need to be soft and tender um, you'll get some texture when you serve them with a big slice of grilled bread like i like to do now to cook those bitter greens again we're going to heat some garlic look at how i'm cooking that garlic in a bunch of oil until it's like golden brown okay i'm not going to burn it and if you've watched this channel, you know I do this with a lot of stuff. Cook them until they're golden. Big difference between golden and burned. Then I'm going to add some hot chili, some crushed red pepper at the end, and add all those soft cooked greens. So you have a bunch of nice, big, juicy stems in mine too that are just delicious. And you're going to cook those around with the garlic and oil. Make sure to season them until they taste good to you. Mix it all up. It should be nice and slicked with oil and garlicky and spicy and delicious. Smooth some of that hot puree out in a bowl. Pile the greens on there. Oh, it's just making my mouth water looking at it. Like I said, you want to serve this with some grilled bread. Some people add like fried croutons. Put a bunch of nice olive oil at the end, a bunch of lemon. Serve that with some grilled bread and you are off to the races. Doesn't that look awesome? Thanks for watching.